Hey guys, here's a look at this Vertex 29 by 15 build with a custom hinged riser spec'd out for this exact size build, uh, custom junction box. Let's talk through it. All right, so the great thing about the board is that it's in the G3, so we can, we can move any of these pedals around that we want. The cool thing about the, the setup though, the real like nitty gritty is this wetter box. So it's set up in loop six and seven and the guys from Gig Rick help clarify how to set this up because uh, we had a unique request for the wetter box to be included. So the client could run two overdrives or any of the dry effects or really any of the pedals in parallel at any time. So obviously we can move loops around but basically, with how this is set up, when two loops are engaged, they are either in parallel or series, depending. So that's the cool thing is you can use the expression switch. Um, when you have the expression switch plugged in, it does negate the knob on top here. But I'll show you what it sounds like in both ways. But this allows for a couple different types of options. So we'll go through the loops. Everything is labeled. Um, on the actual physical pedal, as you can see, um, to tell the client what is what. So we got loop one, we got the fuzz. Loop two, we got the soloist. Loop three, we got the Kingsley. Loop four, um, heavy hand. Loop five is the camo flange. Loop six is, and loop seven are the wetter box. We got loop eight, which is nothing, because it's nothing. Loop nine, the dig. Loop 10, the 68. Loop 11, therme. And loop 12, the mood. So we got everything under here. The space behind everything to get to the jacks if need be. Power on both. So nothing is sharing power. The chalks, crooks, is coming out of the zoom on powering um, the G3 because it, it needs more power. Custom um, junction box for left and right out. A quarter inch function jack, which is right here. So it's number three, as well as five pin MIDI out. Bank manager is really cool. We'll do all the banking for us, which is super handy, as well as the wetter box set up in the loops. All three of these are set up with a good um, a chaseless audio MIDI box. So it's super tight, compact, and everything is labeled. We'll go through the sounds next. All right, we'll go through for through just the sounds right now, and then we'll talk over the, um, the wetter box. So pull in the fuzz. Soloist. Do you want to add that? This is all running through this Trimon Iridium right now, stock. It's on the Chime and the B cabinet. Really simple, almost everything at noon. Four. Camouflage. 
Six and seven are obviously the wetter box. Moving on, we have nothing in eight. So number nine will be the dig. And these three are all hooked up for MIDI, so they can program uh, MIDI changes to turn things on, change sounds. Super cool. either side there's no remote switch to do uh, the changing but he can step on it moving on we have the thermae those are loops let's talk over the wetter box um the wetter box setup is a little more tedious so we'll go through um the instructions on how to add something and parallel and series but here is the um, four and five so we have the heavy hand i'm gonna yeah the heavy hand and the camouflage camouflage this is in series <laughs> In parallel right now. So here in parallel. So what the expression is doing, if I remove the jack on the side, you can hear it. It's all panning to a side. So now we just have just the, the heavy hand. But you can add in the camouflage. And you have your gains on the side to incorporate them. So going back, we got in, par in series. how it's set up to is activating the loop it's turning on the loops but it's also turning on the indicator light with this one so like if we click it you'll see it turns on and off you still have to engage six and seven um there's a few little steps to do but this is definitely for like certain presets like one i had it set up and that's the weather box in parallel let's talk over how to set up the weather box next so there's a few different steps you have to do to set up the weather box. So we'll click on one to show off what it looks like. So we'll hit the, the arrow 
And we'll scroll down to parallel. Next. Parallel control is just, it's that it's on. So depending on what loop, if you want it on, so like bank one preset one, it's enabled. So we want it. If you want it on other loops, you have to enable it. Phase setting, if something's out of phase, you can correct it. Parallel start. So this is where, what pedals you could want to include. So like if you want loops one through five included, then you would start it at five. Like, so I, me, I only had just a one in, in there, but we will change this so it's on loop one. Go back where we want it to end. So we don't, we want it on no join. So basically no join means you don't want it to join back in. Um, it's, it's really, it can be really confusing, but, but you basically want to leave on no join because you want it to be able to go into um, the weta box. So basically putting it at start just tells you which of these pedals you can actually include in the do parallel or series. If you only want a couple, just like if you only want four or three or something, then start it at that loop. Parallel loops. So right now all these, so none of these are in, these all say out, so they're not in parallel. So even though we set it to one, one's not gonna be instantly activated into a parallel, routing it's not until you go down here where i had five in so five was the camouflage so for the camo flange so i wanted the camo flange and so i put it in if you don't want it anymore you can set it for out if you want the fuzz whatever you want to do you're basically taking one effect and you're putting in parallel with the rest of them so you can mix it a little bit separately so we're going to leave it like that you can do, you want to leave the rest of these 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, because 8 is um, out. And that's it. That's how you set up the parallel, the parallel wetter box with the G3. Have a good one.